different kind of boat. So you need to tell these are alternative approaches or pitfalls that will influence you know, uh, your ability to get across. So lions might interfere, or there's my motorboat. Maybe that's a better way to go across. For aim three, as we discussed, we might build a bridge. Now that is costly, and it might not work for a number of different reasons because, of course, this is the more risky aim. And alter as an alternative is to get many people across at once, is to maybe just use a bigger boat. But you might need to know more about the river to make sure that the river can handle it. So for example, if the river is not the Mississippi River, this boat is not going to be able to go across, even though it can handle a lot of people. Okay, so it has to be feasible. AIM-3 can be more risky, but it has to be feasible and not have a flaw in the logic like this might result in. So at the end of your, um, at the end of writing this, so now you've gone through the significance, innovation, and the approach for each AIM. Make sure you go back and check that the reader has enough background and preliminary data to understand the significance of what you want to do, and that each aim is separate and not dependent on each other, and that the design for each aim yields meaningful data. Each experiment that you, you propose is necessary to do. Don't make that list. It works against you. Make sure that the reader knows that you are bringing unique skills to the problem. That actually should be sprinkled throughout the document. Um, the impact, your innovation, the significance should be sprinkled so that the reader gets uh, reminded of that ever so, every so often.